Hi guys, good evening everyone. My name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to this session for development issues. In today's session, we are going to pick up another set of five questions on development issues. Now, of course, this session is specifically meant for ESIC students. However, because there is a lot of overlap in the syllabus that is asked in various examinations, this session and the questions that I'll be discussing are going to be useful not only for ESIC. but also for icar asrb because there is a topic called as development issues there as well and simultaneously in your rbi and nabard examinations as well because development issues is a topic which is being taught there as well okay to aapko ye nahi sochna hai ki bhai esic ka hai to unhi ke liye hai main nahi padunga you can all of you whoever is preparing for asrb or rbi or nabard in the near future can use these questions a list of 100 most important questions 100 most important topics has been picked up and questions based upon those are being created and discussed with you guys a little information about the course esic course because a lot of students are asking in the comment section about the course itself so the examination is going to be conducted in two tiers tier 1 which is going to have two parts part a and part b part a will be in english part b will be uh, will consist of 10 uh, different subjects tier 2 will be interview direct interview the only catch in this examination is the experience requirement esic requires you to have an experience of 3 years at least in a government body autonomous body or a ps if you have that experience banking bhi chal jayega because specifically when i was filling the form i have seen that they have mentioned banking as one of the sub requirements or sub areas so i think that is going to be accepted as the minimum experience as well general banking ho gaya branch banking ho gaya that is going to be accepted okay so use that to your advantage i know a lot of you guys who are uh, watching this listening to this are actually bankers or have been bankers in the past so this is a very golden opportunity 150 se zyada vacancies aayi hain total of 151 vacancies of grade a level so this is going to be very very helpful okay now the course is of course of uh, 12500 as you can see here however there is a 40% discount running presently so you can get this course for almost 7500 uh, and i think it's a steal because there are so many subjects here pura human resource management hai marketing accounting financial management rti quant reasoning computer application general science public administration development issues it is here indian freedom movement which is which is modern indian history current affairs ye sari hi cheeze puchi jayengi exam mein okay so let us start with the session i hope now you are clear about the course and you can access the course by visiting my website website pe jaiye wahan par course aapko pura mil jayega let's start with the first question the first question says which of the following is the correct definition of under development under development ki jo correct definition hai among these which one of the following is the correct definition unexploited the every word is important unexploited human and natural resource and low per capita income can be one of the definitions because we are talking about under development kam develop hua hai jo things progressive changes in socio economic structure of the country progressive changes is it a sign of under development no it is a sign of development or developing so it will not be one of the options over exploited human and natural resources and low per capita low cut per capita income yes but if you are already exploiting and have over exploited human and capital resource that means you are developing or you have developed so it is also not going to be. i know what is going on in your mind ki over exploitation of natural resources like coal okay uh, popularly called as the dutch disease if you are aware about it नहीं पता है तो गूगल करो इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट कनेक्टेड विद नीदरलैंड्स बहुत मजा आएगा पढ़ने में सो यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट ओवर एक्सप्लोइटेशन द एग्जामिनर माइट बी रेफरिंग टूवर्ड्स द डच डिजीज बट दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज वी आर नॉट ओनली टॉकिंग अबाउट ओवर एक्सप्लोइटेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्स बट ऑल्सो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स और ह्यूमन रिसोर्स को ओवर एक्सप्लोइटेशन करोगे या एक्सप्लोइटेशन भी करोगे दैट मीन्स यू आर यूजिंग दम फॉर डेवलपमेंट ओके exploitation here does not means taking advantage of it means using increase in nominal output of goods and services whenever there is an increase in nominal output of goods and services that means gross domestic product is increasing which is a sign of development so the correct option here is option a i hope this is clear 
आपको ये क्वेश्चंस के आंसर्स एक पेपर पे लिखने हैं यू हैव टू राइट डाउन द आंसर्स बेस्ड अपॉन योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिफोर आई आंसर देम फॉर यू एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन यू हैव टू टेल मी दिल मी योर करेक्ट आंसर्स योर स्कोर आउट ऑफ अ स्कोर ऑफ फाइव इन दॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट ऑल ऑफ यू कैन कंपेयर योर स्कोर दैट इज इमेंसली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस ओके नेक्स्ट पे आते हैं Which of the following is not a feature of an underdeveloped economy? So जहां development पे बात ज्यादा चल रही है let us have a look at the options and then we find out the answer. Not a feature of an underdeveloped country. Not a feature. Low GNP per capita. If the per capita GNP is low, it is a sign of underdevelopment. So it is one of the features. Scarcity of capital. Yes, one of the cap uh, features. अगर स्कैरसिटी है कैपिटल की दैट मीन्स देर इज अंडर डेवलपमेंट लो प्रोडक्टिविटी येस वन ऑफ द फीचर्स ऑफ अंडर डेवलपमेंट टेक्नोलॉजिकल बैकवर्डनेस येस वन ऑफ द फीचर्स ऑफ अंडर डेवलपमेंट हाई एम्प्लॉयमेंट नॉट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट वी आर सेइंग हाई एम्प्लॉयमेंट इफ देर इज एम्प्लॉयमेंट हाई एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द नेशन दैट मीन्स इट इज डेवलपिंग इवन इफ वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू से इट इज डेवलप वी कैन से दैट इट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द राइट डायरेक्शन सो इट इज नॉट अ फीचर ऑफ अंडर डेवलपमेंट इट इज अ फीचर ऑफ an economy developing okay i hope that's clear next question pe aate hain i think that's clear so the answer to this question is e high employment levels very simple question i hope you corrected marked it correctly let's come to the third question the following clearly define the new concept of economic development naya concept jo hai economic development ka it is defined from the following new concept of economic development let's say we are not aware about the new concept of economic development let's figure out which of the following defines the new concept eradication of poverty and illiteracy improvement in welfare of persons shift of production towards sustainable industrial activities sustained annual increase in gdp what are we talking about here we talking about economic development and not growth dhyan rakhna hai dekho every word is important we talking about development not growth okay eradication of poverty and illiteracy yes a measure of development welfare yes a measure of development shift of production towards sustainable activity yes a measure of development sustained annual increase in gdp it's a measure of growth and not a measure of development ye measure hai growth ka development ka measure nahi hai ye okay i hope this is clear so our answer in this case is option number d it is not a measure of uh, the new definition of development or you can say any definition of development it is a measurement of growth okay answer option is d let's come to the next question which of the following is not an element of human development index we have already discussed human development index hdi in the last class in the last session i am sure you are aware about it and you remember it life expectancy at birth education gni per capita illiteracy levels which of the following is not an element of human development index these three are the elements illiteracy is not measured under education under education we have mean years of schooling schooling and actual years of school do hum uh, years of schooling ko measure karte hain okay so this is illiteracy is not a measure so our correct answer option in this case also comes out to be option number okay i think this is our last question yes last question pe aate hain a longer question but a lot of information in this question consider the following statements about human development index and find out the incorrect ones we have to find out the incorrect one based upon information on human development index point 8 and above are called high human development countries 0.5 to 0.799 medium human development countries 0.5 below are called low human development countries three elements life expectancy education illiteracy concept of human development created by mehboob ullah dekho ye teeno sahi hain 0.8 0.5 0.799 this is the sequence that has been created okay पॉइंट फाइव से नीचे है अंडर डेवलप्ड इन दिस एरिया डेवलपिंग अब पॉइंट एट डेवलप्ड 
ओके एच में ये क्लियर होना चाहिए दिस इज वेरी इजी क्रिएटेड बाय महबूब उल हक ये दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट लॉन्ग विद डॉक्टर अमोत सिंह थ्री एलिमेंट्स लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी एजुकेशन इलेक्ट्रेसी लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी एजुकेशन स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग सो आई एम रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सेम कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड टूल्स अगेन एंड अगेन वाई बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट यू टू रिमेंबर दिस ये याद रखना जरूरी है इसके अराउंड क्वेश्चन आते हैं एंड एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ इज बींग प्रोवाइडेड अबाउट ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स टू यू ये जो वैल्यूज हैं दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी आस्ट इन दी एग्जामिनेशन ओके आई होप दिस सेशन वॉज यूजफुल आई होप यू लर्न समथिंग न्यू पुट डाउन योर स्कोर्स इन दी कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो इट विल हेल्प मी एंड इट विल हेल्प यू एंड लॉट ऑफ अदर स्टूडेंट्स टू कंपेयर योर स्कोर्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड वेर आर यू गोइंग रॉन्ग वेर आर यू गोइंग राइट वॉट आर यू डूइंग करेक्टली वॉट आर यू डूइंग इन करेक्टली एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ओके इन केस यू हैव एनी डाउट्स अबाउट द कोर्स यू कैन कॉल ऑन दिस नंबर एज वेल द इनकमिंग टीम दैट वी हैव विल बी वेरी वेरी कॉर्डियल एंड वुड वॉन्ट टू क्लैरिफाई वुड बी रेडी टू क्लैरिफाई योर डाउट्स अबाउट एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू द कोर्स डबल नाइन डबल नाइन फोर डबल सिक्स डबल टू ओके विद दिस टूडे सेशन इज फिनिश आई एल सी यू वेरी वेरी सुन विद फर्दर क्वेश्चन ऑन डेवलपमेंट इशू ऑल द बेस्ट गाइज टेक केयर बाय